Imagine waking up one morning to find ants bigger than you. What would happen next? The once tiny creatures beneath the earth have now become towering biological machines. Powerful, organized, and terrifying. Imagine a swarm of fire ants over a meter tall with razor-sharp mandibles, lightning-fast movements, and ready to strike with stings that burn like fire. With their ability to coordinate as a swarm and follow pheromone signals that guide millions, they become massive biological machines, conquering everything in their path. When ants are no longer small, they're not just creatures, they're a looming force of domination. Welcome back to Antrek. Fire ants may be infamous worldwide for their aggression and fiery sting, but in terms of size, they rank among the tiniest in the ant world. With worker ants measuring only 2.4 to 6 millimeters long, each fire ant is significantly smaller than many other ant species. Compared to Campanotus singularis, which can reach up to 15 millimeters in length, fire ants are only about one-third the size. Compared to the powerful build of Harpignathos venator, fire ants look like mere specks beside them. Even though fire ants are much smaller than Campanotus singularis or Harpignathos venator ants, their colonies are far more populous and widespread, making them a formidable collective force in the insect world. And what if you brought home not just one, but that terrifying collective to your house? Despite the rumors about these ants, I was wary of their danger. Yet I still decided to raise this colony to truly recreate the incredible collective power they possess. Day one. The first day, all of them were released by me into the open ground environment, a place where they could freely dig deep nests underground. This colony is estimated to have around 1,000 individuals, a relatively modest number in the wild. Even as a small colony, fire ants can cause localized chaos or make people jump if stepped on. When they land, they use their main tools to cut, dig, and pick up individual grains of soil. With a clear division of labor, the scout ants will try digging several small spots to test them. They will never look for low-lying areas because there, the larvae, pupae, and eggs are highly vulnerable when they encounter water. When sand is flooded with water, oxygen cannot circulate, leading to suffocation, rotting of eggs, and the development of bacteria. Therefore, once a location is chosen, the worker ants are given the command to begin digging the nest deep down and creating a slope. While they're busy digging their nest like this, you'd better stay away. Their relentless hard work means that if even a single hand gets in their way, it will face instant and terrifying consequences. Fire ant venom contains solenopsin, a potent alkaloid that causes intense burning and tissue necrosis. After a few hours, the stings develop white blisters due to an overreaction by the immune system, so far away as possible. But has anyone here ever been stung by a fire ant? Share your experience in the comments below. During the nest digging process, the ants constantly rotate their duties. The worker group digs deeper layer by layer, creating an underground maze with escape routes, ventilation, and flood prevention. A complete structure built within the sand. As the nest gradually stabilizes, new organisms begin to appear. Male ants and young queen ants, the first new lives preparing to split from the colony, sowing the seeds for new empires. Because in nature, everything always evolves over time. Even a barren piece of land can be reborn, simply from a single seed dropped from bird droppings, carrying life waiting to erupt within. The seeds began to sprout. Alongside them, a cockroach appeared. Will it become a friend, or will it become prey for the ant colony? Standing before the ant colony, it quickly emitted an aroma and was soon attracted. The ants gradually gathered in large numbers to attack. Fire ants truly live up to their reputation as an aggressive invasive species. No matter what, if anyone dares to loiter in their territory, they will be immediately attacked without mercy. The cockroach writhed in extreme agony. Thousands of ants covered its body, not just a few biting, but almost all of them were attacking. The cockroach, terrified, tried to retreat. The venom of fire ants doesn't kill instantly. It burns from within, causing a sensation like being severely burned, using the nervous system and sending the prey into desperate panic. 
In a final effort, the cockroach stumbled back deep into a rock crevice near the nest where it thought it could escape. But just minutes later, it silently reappeared, lying motionless amidst the ring of red. Its legs were contorted, its antennae no longer moving. It didn't die from its wounds. It died from fear, multiplied by each wave of overwhelming pain. That's the end any creature will meet when it dares to confront an army of fire ants. They'll eat it and bring it inside the nest. In just one to two days, the cockroach will be nothing but a hulk. Because they possess a primal strength and a terrifyingly brutal instinct, if these ants were larger than humans, the world might have already been consumed by a storm of destruction, a place where neither life nor mercy could survive. Even in nature, when facing massive creatures like elephants, they could still take down such powerful beasts in the final moments. Day 12 just when it seemed this place was exclusively the fire ant colony's territory, another character mysteriously appeared on the ground. It's a larval, dermestid beetle. These creatures don't tunnel like ants or worms, but they can burrow through small gaps in the soil. Because of this, the ants struggle to find their traces. That could also be considered a game of hide-and-seek. However, the nature of fire ants won't allow prey to toy with them. They will seek out and track down these larvae to threaten and kill them. Day 13. The ground trembles as the millet seeds now reach upwards. Day after day it continued. Day 25. The ant colony turns a new page. They will now coexist in a place called the forest. The light will be different, and their way home will also be different. This place could become a stable home for the ant colony, or it could be a devastated wasteland that they raise to the ground. But now, a strange creature is beginning to slither through the soft earth, bringing with it an ODD scent, the smell of darkness, of crustaceans, and of a loner. That's the dragon worm, a reclusive inhabitant of the earth's depths. And now, it has chosen the millet field as the place to begin its new cycle of survival. It didn't know that every tiny tremor of its body had fallen into the ant's intricate sensory network. A few scout ants stopped, their antennae quivered slightly, turning, an intruding scent, not an ant, not familiar prey. The predatory instinct of this fierce ant colony kicks in instantly, and they'll swarm in without a hint of mercy. The fat worms will suffer in despair. Their razor-sharp jaws clamp tight while venom is transmitted as fast as an electric shock. There's no room for error, no chance to escape. Any creature that intrudes becomes their cold-blooded feast. Underground, they dig and tunnel to establish a mighty empire deep beneath the surface. As a result, the millet plants above ground are destroyed and their roots are chewed. This place, once green and dense, is becoming more and more barren as the plants wither, a direct result of the ant colony's aggressive growth. After 30 days of observation, I finally witnessed the heroic moments of these ants firsthand. Though they possess only tiny bodies, they proved that strength lies not in size, but in the colony's absolute unity. When they act as a single single unified entity, nothing can stop the flow of their will. If they were human-sized, their strength and destructive force would be uncontrollable. Then, both the environment and humanity itself would struggle to avoid being crushed. And, if you've been captivated by the epic journey of the ant world, hit that like button to fuel the next adventures, subscribe to Ant Trek, and turn on notifications, because the most incredible wonders of this tiny universe are only just beginning. Check out this video for more, and I'll see you in the next one.